In this video I'll be creating a sprite for a health bar and uh, I'm going to put that health bar in the game so I don't want to create health bars for every unit yet I'm going to do that in the next few videos because there's a really good way of doing it with delegates and events a new subject I haven't touched on that in this series but I'll um, introduce you guys to that in the next few videos but uh, in this video I want to revisit sprites manager and go through how to set up a sprite in the game just so we know how it all works and um, I'll be confident using sprite manager in the future in this uh, strategy series so in the previous video I created this sprite sheet and I've tidied it up a bit I haven't got any glow or anything 40% to 10% health is yellow and then 10% to 0% is red and I'll put this on the unity chat channel website for you to download for free okay guys because I know this takes a few minutes to set up and if you want to dive into this video then you can just download the sprite sheet so I've got the sprite manager documentation open here and we'll be focusing our attention on just one method in this video which is the add sprites method really important and firstly we can set up the scene before we use that so I'm just pretending I've just downloaded the three scripts from the website and then we can just start again with sprite manager okay and uh, we're going to use the sprite manager script and update update the sprites transform calling another method rather than using the linked sprite manager which kind of automatically updates the sprites transform on every frame we don't want to do that just to save overhead in unity so we've got our sprite sheet texture and I'm not going to change anything actually let's change the texture to a GUI and we don't want any filtering and apply this because we want this to be a solid color shape we don't want any blending into the environment and I think it will be nicer if it's uh, GUI okay so I'm going to create a new material so we do this for all of our sprite sheets and I'm going to call this health bar sprite sheet let's say and the shader we use here is uh, a particle shader we can go to particles and alpha blended why is that because the documentation tell us all about it if I just search for particles particle I think this is the one so the material uh, that renders the sprites uh, they strongly advise for all sprites that you use one of the particle shaders okay so the back face culling is not an issue etc etc um, if you feel like creating your own shader if you want to then go ahead but you can base the shader on the one of the particle shaders okay guys so we know about that and I'm gonna drag the texture onto that okay and uh, not very keen on that gray I'm gonna make it white so let's just change the opacity up so just so there's no uh, confusion and soft particles really not important so I'm just gonna put that to zero and that is our sprite sheet so that's all good and now we can create some objects in the game so firstly we need the sprite manager itself so let's go to game object create empty and I'm gonna call this health bar sprite manager this is gonna be our sprite manager object and as you guys can see it's just an empty game object in our scene and we put the scripts we want to use onto this object so this is gonna be just a sprite manager object okay so so how many sprite managers can we use in our scene well the answer is you can use as many as you want you can use hundreds during production if you really want to it might be very slow to run on unity but I recommend using multiple sprite managers for different like sprite sheets in your game and then when it comes to optimizing the game uh, preparing the final build then you can combine your sprite sheets into one image and then use one sprite manager but in the meantime when you're producing the game I uh, totally recommend creating as many sprite managers as you want so the first step is to create this object and attach the sprites manager script to it and we want to zero everything out because the sprite man the sprites themselves are generated from this object and to correspond to world units and things we need to put the sprite manager at the origin okay so it matches the world units really important thing there guys if you haven't if you can't find your your sprites in your game the chances are maybe your health your sprite manager object is not in the origin that's something to look out for okay let's have a look at these properties the script has a material that's simply the sprite sheet so let's drag that on there that's all good 
Allocating a block size, I'm going to put one because I think we're just going to use one sprite in this video. So this is just an option because Unity can automatically allocate block sizes and things for the sprites, but the thing is it's quite slow. So the sprite manager gives us an option to automatically like pre-assign a value, a block size. Even if this is zero, the game will not crash or anything, nothing bad will happen, just a thing for optimization. And everything here is fine. Automatically update bounds, we don't need to worry about that because this health bar is not going to update its bounding volume. So if you guys want to research any of these things, then hop over to the scripting reference of Sprite Manager. Everything you need to learn about Sprite Manager is in this on this page basically okay it's how I learned it read from top to bottom well not all of it but um, you can just read the important things like the introduction and then how to use these methods okay guys so um, this is all we need of our sprite manager that is the manager okay so let's focus our attention now on a client object because the client object is simply a game object we draw sprites over so this is going to be health bar client Okay, and uh, I think I should line this up with our unit. Really good reference. This is where we want to display the sprite sheet. Put it over the unit and let's bring it up a tad. And that's all we need to do for the client. Every sprite manager needs a client, an object to draw the sprites over. Okay, so when we draw the sprites, there'll be a zero, zero, zero of this object. Hope that makes sense. And uh, I think that's all the setup we need to do in the scene. So now we can hop over to a script. So let's create one. C sharp script. I'm going to call this health bar sprite. Let's say that. In the script, we can configure the sprite and simply attach it to the client. So it's that simple. Okay, let's just um, delete things for now and assign a few variables. So public, we want a sprite manager. As you can see, we've got the option for a linked sprite manager and a sprite manager, but the script we're using is just simply the sprite manager script. And let's call this health bar sprite manager. Okay, and a couple more public game object. Health bar clients. Because this is public, I'm just going to change this to a capital H, keep things nice and clean. And we can also actually assign a private sprite and this is the sprite we're going to use to generate using the health bar sprite sheet health bar sprites okay guys let's hop over to the uh, start method now within the start method we want to find the client's object so health bar client is game object find we're going to use a more sophisticated way of finding client objects in the next video but just for this example going to just find it in the scene health bar client that's the one so copy the name let's paste it in okay and we're also going to call the method to actually create the sprites which is going to be a public void draw uh, health bar say that shall we and we're going to call this in the start method draw health bar so to draw the health bar, to make a sprite and assign it to this object here, all we need to do is call one line of code. And if I hop over to the, uh, the, the documentation, the method we're going to use is add sprite. And to access this method, we just need to simply refer to our sprite manager object, health bar sprite manager. Okay, and uh, simply add sprite. Okay, and this method returns a sprite we've just created. So then we can assign it to our um, health bar sprite. So health bar sprite equals boom equals sprite manager add sprite. Okay, so all the all the arguments are listed here. Firstly, the client object. Simple enough. Um, health bar client. Okay, so making a sprite, putting it on the health bar client. The width and the height. I'm going to estimate this. I'm just going to put 6f and then 1f so 6 units wide 1 unit tall okay next the lower left UV so so a UV of an image goes from 0 to 1 in the X and the Y 0 will be down here 0 0 and then 1 1 will be at the top and because we have 10 sprites going across and 10 going down the lower left UV of the first sprite will be um, 0 across it's going to start right in the if this Actually, let's hop over to, um, where is it? 
at uh, the sprite sheet itself. So the first sprite is here at 100%. The lower left UV will be 0, not going anywhere across, but 0 0.9 up. So 9 temps up. And then the lower left UV start point is here. Okay, simple as that. So for the first sprite, if I can find the script, going to be a new vector 2. This is still within a vector 2 and simply 0 going across, 0 0.9 going up and that is our lower left UV. As you can see uh, MonoDevelop helps us out here, gives us all of the stuff we need really handy. So the UV dimensions, again it's a UV and a new vector 2 so because we've got 10 sprites going across, 10 going down, it will simply be 0.1 and 0.1 I don't know where my sprite, the, the uh, Photoshop thing's gone so I'm just going to put 0.1 0 0.1 okay guys because if you hop over here this sprite takes up 0 0.1 of the uh, width and 0 0.1 of the height hope that makes sense so that's that sorted out and uh, the next thing is the offset offset that's a vector 3 we don't want to offset this sprite relative to the client object so we put vector 3 0 and the last one billboarded whether the or not the sprite should be rendered so that it always faces towards the camera well, I tried it, but this doesn't really work in our case. I haven't researched why, but the best thing to do would be to rotate the object so it's always facing the camera. As you can see here, it doesn't actually face the camera, it just faces direction from which the camera is looking, blah, 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 blah. We don't want to um, rely on this, so I'm going to put false. Okay, guys, feel free to experiment with the billboarded thing, but in my situations, it hasn't really came in handy at all. And that's what we need to do. We've created the health bar sprite, which will now be on our client object. We should be anyway. So the last thing we need to do, public void update, and the update method is actually rotate the sprite. So it's facing the camera. And to do that, it's relatively simple. We can go to health bar client okay firstly we're going to rotate the client and then we're going to actually update the sprite manually to, to face the camera as well to match this client object so let's refer to the Euler angles a new vector 3 okay make some space so for the X value we go to camera let's get the main camera transform Euler angles X because the camera itself rotates in the X but the parent's camera, the camera controller rotates in the Y so we need to refer to this object here so camera main and to do that transform parent game object transform Euler angles Y okay last one health bar client just go up and choose that whoops transform Euler angles Z because we're not going to change the Z rotation at all okay simple as that and the last thing is to simply update the sprites based on this this client objects transform and to do that simply health bar sprite manager um, transform reutilizing a transform method within sprite manager then we simply transform the sprite which is here okay and it's simple as that so we've used this method to create the sprite and we've used the update method to rotate the sprite and then apply the sprite transform and then this transform of the sprites will match the uh, the client object so let's see if we've got any errors I don't think we have and that's good so all we need to do here is attach the scripts somewhere in our scene and the perfect place to do that would probably be on the world game object where all of our generic scripts are being held so um, health bar sprite drag it on okay so we just need to configure these things the health bar sprite manager is this object and the client object is here so here we go moment of truth the sprite should appear here in our scene here it is so it's a bit um, transparent I don't really know why but as you can see it's following the camera as the camera is rotating the health bar is always kind of facing the camera and that's it guys so um, let's have a look at some 
properties here if I go to my materials health bar sprite sheet and uh, let's play about with some things I don't know if it's because of soft particle factor that the sprite itself is transparent ah yes it is so there you go let's put it to one we don't want it to be transparent so that's pretty important guys remember to put that to one okay so by default it's kind of in the middle so I haven't played with it before and in the middle it looks pretty you know solid but just to be sure drag it up there let's quit the game and and it's already been applied that's all good and the other thing I wanted to prove to you guys is the billboarded thing that always faces the camera well in, in this case if I put true the thing itself doesn't actually rotate let's comment out the rotation and the uh, transform because we don't need to maybe it's simply because I'm using the sprite manager script and not the linked sprite manager let's double check okay so here we go rotating and the sprite is not rotating because our rotation's turned off so let's just double check that we if we can actually transform it and the billboard will update and again I don't think it will let's just double check yeah no so there we go guys we can't use the billboarded thing with sprite manager and to rotate it with the camera so let's put this back to false and uh, uncomment things out so Again, I'm, I don't know exactly why we'd use billboarded, whether or not the sprite should be rendered so that it's always facing towards the camera. Doesn't really do what it says, but if you if someone knows how to use this properly, then please feel free to message me or leave a comment below so other users can learn. And in the next video, we'll take this um, sprite and apply it to other objects in the game, and also look at events and delegates. So there you go, guys. We can see the unit's health now, and. Uh, even if you rotate it up and down as well, I think it will update. Okay, so thanks for watching the video guys. I hope this has made Sprite Manager a lot clearer. As you can see, to make one sprite, it's relatively simple to do and you've always got the uh, documentation as well. Thanks for watching guys. Hopefully I'll see you in the next video.